Ah. Uh, wet my whistle. A little water. Municipal water. It's good. Good beverage water. Not as good as Dumbaza water, but good enough. Get it all together here. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I guess you'd call it a, a spring day. I know you're all into the fall. But it's, when is, uh, I'm not going to ask those questions anymore. But uh, it's a Sunday. And I've decided that I've started. Now I'm doing. These are, this is a tea tie raid, by the way. So I've decided what I'm going to do is start reading on Sundays. Now, last week I read a poem by Harry Owen. Uh, this week, uh-oh, maybe I don't have the whole poem here. This week I'm going to read one of my favorite poems. Oh, yes, yeah, here. Yeah, da, 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 da. On page two. I think it's only two pages. Yeah. Like that. Ah, put this paperwork together. Hey, talk about paperwork. Remember, Article 6. We all got to get on board here with Article 6. It's uh, change.org petition. Uh, just to remind you, remind you up front, go to change.org, look for Article 6 petition. It's, it's the petition that's going to kick the U.S. out of the uh, out of UN. Then you, a bunch of stuff happens if that happens. Oh, so, uh, okay. But to read this... Actually, it's nice out here. I don't think I need my glass, my glasses. I don't think I need reading glasses. This is beautiful, sunny, and all that sort of stuff. But I'll put it on anyway because then I'm me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. And um, I'm going to read one of my favorite authors of all time, Henry Dumas. And this is signature. Oh, no, no. This is this is his. Um, poem called Root Song. I've done it a few times. In fact, even did it with uh, Loretta, his widow. We, we, we traded off like that. It's, it's on my YouTube channel. Maybe I'll put the you up. Nah, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I don't want to do this. Uh, but also, if you go to that Black Panther comic that Ta-Nehisi Ta Coates did with, some, with, with that woman, right? That has Root Song in it. Uh, well, it's, it's part of it. I'm going to read the whole thing because... I'm not beholden to, you know, to Marvel or anybody like that, you know, any, any corporations like that. So it's a, oh, it's two pages. I mean, it's two. It's like that. That's what it's like. Here we go. Root Song. When I was tree, flesh came and worshipped at my roots. My ancestors slept in my outstretched limbs and listened to flesh praying and entreating on his knees. Once, when I was free, African sun woke me up green at dawn. African wind combed the branches of my hair. African rain washed my limbs. African soil nourished my spirit. African moon watched over me. Once, when I was tree, flesh came to preserve my voice. Flesh came honoring my limbs as drums, as canoes, as mass, as cathedrals and temples of the ancestor gods. Now flesh comes with metal teeth, with chopping sticks and fire launches, and flesh cuts me down and enslaves my limbs to make forts, ships, pews for other gods, stockades, flesh pens, and crosses hung high to sacrifice gods. Now flesh has set my charred and beaten frame, discarding me in the mud, burning me up in flame. Now flesh listens no more to the voice of the spirits talking through my limbs. 
Flesh has grown dull at the ears now. Flesh has grown pale and lazy. Flesh has sinned against the fathers. If flesh would listen, I would warn him that the spirits are displeased and are planning what to do with him. But flesh thinks I am dead, charred and gone. Flesh thinks that by fire he can kill. Thinks that chaining me in alien temples and new gods carved upon my skin. Thinks that all the voices linked from root to limbs are silence. Thinks that by cutting me down, I will sing and dance no more. But flesh is lazy and clogged with fat. Flesh does not know that he did not give me life, nor can he take it away. That is what the spirits are singing now. It is time that flesh bow down on his knees again. The poetry of Henry Dumas. Love Henry. Here's my, here's my favorite uh, phrase, line, words in this thing. But flesh is lazy and clogged with fat. That's what's happening these days. See, the reason why we're going to win everything, <laughs> we're going to win everything, is that, <coughs> excuse me, folks are lazy. <coughs> oh boy, where's my, where's my, where's my cloth? The reason why we're going to win is because the people that's, that, that, that's in the fight ain't lazy. People want to sit on the sidelines, they sitting on the sidelines. Sitting on the sidelines clogged with fat. That's not us. But here's the thing. Uh, on this beautiful Sunday in Africa, Things are changing rapid, rather quickly, uh, rapidly, I should say. Here you go. <laughs> Falling in the floor. Well, what gives me hope, hope, no, what gives me certainty is that there are a lot of, there are a lot of us's out there that are not lazy and clogged with fat. And there's enough that the ball is a rolling and rolling and rolling. And once that, uh, once that ball rolls and gathers steam, gathers momentum, you know, just like any other bandwagon, people jump on attractive bandwagons. Let me, uh, let me just say this, because I, I don't want to, well, I do want to, but I look at different people, different, uh, just what culture is different, whatever, whatever, and there's yeah, so, always so this question, especially as an archivist, as a person who, who does interviews. Who do I want to interview these days? You know, and I know you'll be picking some famous people and blah, 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 and all that stuff. You know, Commander, Commander Torre, you know, you know, Commander Ibrahim or somebody like that. But you know who I want to talk to? I want to talk to a rapper. Well, I don't want to call him a rapper. I want to call, talk to a brain, a big brain. And that would be uh, Immortal Technique. Ah, you yeah, find your peoples. Don't worry, I'm not. I'm not, not going to seek him out. I'm not trying to get no big interview or nothing like that. I can't do nothing with interviews anyway because I don't get paid to do it. I just, I, I'm, for archival purposes only, is when I interview people. But I like reason why I say mortal technique because people like he, people like me, we don't care about what you know what what that agenda is or that agenda is. We're not reacting to those different agendas. What we do is we on our course. The reason why one of the reasons why I want to talk to mortal technique is because during the pandemic, what he did for his community in the Bronx, you know, when the old folk people couldn't get food or whatever have it, they went and uh, checked out the, distrib the distribution chain and they, they found out certain very, very interesting tuna, say a can of tuna, when as it might cost, you know, a, 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 a dollar, well, they sell it for, you know, five dollars, that kind of thing. You see, and that's what we have to get hip to. What? 
what should we be doing now I knew this here's the interesting thing I think that what people need to do right now is start especially since your political season start going to all these um, these meetings you know what I mean Republican Democrat green whatever whatever it is just go and, and go and attend these, these these meetings and see what they're saying because what they're saying is very important right morning brother uh, all right all right Papa all right. Um, it's very important uh, and I'll give you a, a, a tiny example of what I'm what I'm talking about when I was uh, when I was stuck in the COVID the, the pandemic whatever the, whatever they call it these days I was stuck in St. Louis and uh I run, happened to run across this Trump guy, you know, Trump supporter, sitting down. So I started talking. I interviewed him a couple of times. And I, and I went to a Republican meeting a couple of times, right? And you learned a lot by listening to everybody instead of just some people, you know? And that's what I'm trying to encourage people to do. You have to listen to everybody. You learn stuff, you know? You learn stuff that you, you'd be surprised what's going on out here. <laughs> what's going on out here, right? So that's my message uh, it's, it's, a, it's a well worn message. Speak to everyone, right? Everybody has a little piece of the thing to, 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 to carry to, to carry on. Some people you might think have more, but maybe your little tiny piece will be the thing that sets it off, sets it all off. And uh, Lord knows we need we need some setting off. We need some uh, some some big brains to move things along. And I really do want to move things along. I want to say one more thing. This whole food thing is very important too. I remember the last place I lived uh, when I was in uh, in the states. Uh, I was living in uh, uh, Washington. Well, living in, in Silver Spring, Maryland, and then Washington D.C. Well, Washington D.C. was the last place I lived, and uh, it was interesting because I, I was at the thing called a uh, uh, say La Jolla House, uh, a Casa de Ajo, uh, the House of the Garlic. Right? I turned to, to, to ca ca you know Casa de Ginger because. I like ginger more than I call it. That's not the point. But in that thing, because it was a, it was a, it was a vegan house. It was like a community house, you know. Well, it's a vegan house, and people lived there. We were like one person would have to cook for the other six or whatever people that we had, and thing. So every house, every day, you had a different person cooking, whatever have you. You know, it's like a commune, if you will. What What was interesting? What I learned from there, one of the things they did, where they had this deal with, uh, they had a little. Uh, store, if you will, a little look like one of those old time Western, you know, general stores, right? Where they, where we, we would get, like, say, in front of a, 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 a food, say, I'm gonna say Path, because Pathmark is out of business, right? Yeah, let me say Pathmark. Say Pathmark, get all their shipments in, right? And near the end of the shipment, they have a little bit, but we have, the, we have that little bit of shipment that Pathmark was passing on to their big stores. We get it for a cheaper price, just like Moral Technique got it for a cheaper price, and then we would sell it in our little, our little basement store someplace but you learned but you learned about you know about the supply chain and all, you learned about things so what I'm trying to say is that please get involved in your community on a basic level so you can learn certain basic facts that that sort of well they don't change you know so that's my message for uh, I don't have I don't have, I don't have no message that, that's 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 my sh thing for uh, this Sunday the uh, first Sunday oh the first Sunday in S September Oh, this is momentum, Mo momentum, momentous, right? For the next two months, we, we, we're hitting hard on uh, uh, Article uh, Six uh, of, uh, from the uh, uh, to put this protest petition in to the UN uh, to get rid of the states, kick the states out of the UN. So that's the big thing for the next two months for me, and I'll keep you posted that. All right? Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.